There's just not one way to multiply numbers. Matter of fact, uh, there's a lot of different techniques and methods that you can use to multiply numbers. I'm going to show you two ways in this video. And the first most common way is what we all learn way back at elementary and primary school. And it goes something like this. We're going to take this 3 and multiply it by 8. So that is 24. Okay, so we're going to put our 4 down here. And then we're going to put this 2 over here in this column. Now we're going to take this 3 and multiply it by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then we'll add this 2 and that is 8. So that will go right there. So the answer, we have 28 times 3. The answer is 84. Okay, so that is one method to do simple multiplication. And this should be primarily your main method when you multiply numbers. But this is not the only way. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you a great technique that we use in algebra and this is called the distributor property but you can also use it in simple arithmetic like this so we can write this problem this way 3 times 28 now the distributor property says that we can take this number right here and write it in terms of a sum and difference in other words we can break it up in all different sorts of ways I'm going to take 28 and think of it as 20 plus 8 Okay, so we have 3 times 20 plus 8, which is the same thing as 28. All right, so now what we can do using the distributor property is to take this 3 and multiply it by 20. And then we're going to take this 3 and multiply it by 8 and then add up the results of doing that. So 3 times 20 is 60. And then 3 times 8 is 24. 60 plus 24 is in fact 84, which is the correct answer. Okay, so the distributor property is incredibly powerful, not only in arithmetic, but especially in algebra. Now, if you need more math help, make sure to check out the link in the description or the comment section.